OK, let's carry on with more square rooting. Now, this question two on here, by the way, remember, look at this right now. Question three, new, can't do, not a real number. That was just a quick one, OK? Um, we will be doing that, though, later. Right, what's the square root of 81? It's 9. What's the square root of x6? Remember, you just halve that exponent. That's x3. Actually, remember what I should have done is, remember, the square roots, look at this, a cube root has a 3 kind of written in. Well, the square root, in theory, should have a 2 written in. All right, but we don't have to use it, all right? And that's, in theory, what you're dividing the 6 by, okay? Think about that for later. If I'm cube rooting, mm, maybe I'm dividing by 3. So look, that's, you know, that is never there, but you can, you can say, okay, I've, I've got to remember that it could be there, okay? The square root means you can put a little 2 there if you want to. Just like cube root, put a little 3 there. So uh, that's the answer. Okay, that is the answer, as simple as that. I can square root both of those, but remember the rules for exponents, all right? Now, supposing I'm going to make it a little bit harder. Again, I might be jumping ahead, but the rules aren't too bad. I might be looking at stuff that's in 7.2 or 7.3. Have a look at this. Ooh, I'm going to square root of 50 and an x9. Now, so remember, I can't square root 50. 1, 4, I'm doing this again, 9, 16. Numbers I can square root. 25, okay, 36, so on and so on. Oh, wait a minute, what's this? 25, aha, a 50. Watch this, nice big radical sign. A 50 is a 25 times 2, because I can square root 25. What's x9? Think about the previous video, uh, rules with exponents. Well, I can't half, remember I'm square rooting, fly. I can't halve x9, what I can halve is an x8. What will that leave me with as well? An x1, okay, there's your x9. Add exponents when you multiply. Okay, so I've broken this, and I'll put a little dot there, separating. Right, I've broken down the 50 into things I can square root. I've broken down the x9 into things I can square root. Previous one there was easy. I can square root an 81, and I can square root an x6. There it is, all right? This one, not so much so. Right. Let's start square rooting things. I can square root of 25, it's 5. Okay? I can square root an x8. Remember, I'll put a little there for the hint. Okay? Divide it by 2. Okay? I can bring an x4 outside. That's the square root of x8 because x4 times x4 will give me x8. Ah, what's left? So the bits that are left, well, that's nothing with that one, nothing with that one. So that's the things that stay inside. Okay? I haven't brought those out. And that's the answer. Okay? I can do those all day long. Lots of different numbers. Okay, there we go.